Well guys, I'm going to make this quick video since I haven't found one on YouTube yet. This is a 2009 Mini Cooper R57, which is also the same as the R56. A um, little dirty water spots here and there, but no, that's, that's not the point here. Uh, the vacuum pump, put a new one on. I haven't seen any videos about this. I'll keep showing one guy on there. I think he's the owner of the do-it-yourself post or Facebook page or group. But uh, he shows you how to take all this off pretty good and quick and efficient. But he doesn't show anything about the vacuum lines while he's in there. So what I'm going to show you is the routing of the vacuum lines. The wastegate sits right down in there between the charge hose and your intake hose. Right in there. It comes out. It follows. This is your vacuum line. The main vacuum line from your vacuum pump. Engine driven vacuum pump. Comes out. There's your brakes and stuff. Runs into your firewall. This line goes around and follows with your wastegate. One's bigger, one's smaller, one's plastic, one's rubber. Uh, that's Mini Cooper for you. Plastic and rubber. Plastic, everything plastic. Plastic thermostat has them. Plastic water pumps. Okay, here's the actuator. Wastegate actuator. I zip tied mine because these things are very loose and they fly off. This does have a little end, like a swollen end right there, so these can't slide back off. The big one here that you see closest to the plug, the harness and stuff, everything this way, the biggest one, goes to the wastegate. Whereas this small plastic piece of junk, it is rubber end but plastic shoved down in it, uh, plastic goes into the further one away, which is the smaller valve. You'll see one's bigger, one's smaller. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's the bigger hole, the hose, there's the smaller neck. The bigger neck it actually says vacuum out on it okay that's the actuator that controls your wastegate and it goes into this chamber it's called a vacuum chamber you can see it this one here closest to the engine part of it towards the where the intake bolts back up is the main vacuum line so you got your vacuum line coming out here it comes around goes into that first hole closest to the engine the other one is that short hose i told you that goes into the actuator so you get the short little plastic hose that goes from the outer one into the actuator and that should get everything good this is the larger pcv hose pressure control valve uh this is the other one you gotta take two of those off you got your big charge pipe over here i did the noise maker delete so mine looks like this uh we have this lower harness throttle body harness and then you have your, I'm guessing, I know that's not the intake, no, um, what do they call that sensor? My mind's blank right now. Sorry, guys, my mind's blank. This is your air intake temperature sensor, but my mind's blank. This is your boost sensor, I'm guessing. It tells your car how much boost you got charged up in the pipes, because that's the only one I see running through the whole system. But yeah, it's pretty simple. I don't see any other videos made up like that. Uh, as of now, people always ask me. I got the Spectra comb filter from AutoZone, 39 bucks. CNT uh, intake, silicone comes with all this extra stuff. You get 55 bucks. CNT charge pipe over here, I give like 55 bucks. Think eBay on that one, Amazon on this one. This is on eBay also. It's aluminum, red, works great. I love this thing. Sight glass is a little if. When I first got it, it's got a rubber seal right here. All, you, all I had to do was snug it down some. It, it's just leaking a little bit. I just snugged it and it fixed it. Uh, just got this heat shield. I do got the down pipe. I am going stage three with it. It's got the two-step intercooler. Uh, the NGK Iridium 1422s, the coldest plugs I can get in it. The AEM strut tower. I got a lot still left to do to this thing. Right now, I'm just finicking around, getting ready to send my ECU off here for a tune. Let's see how that does. Uh, hoping for the best and hoping the engine holds up everything on it's new you can see i got a new head in there new vacuum pump this brand new turbo ain't even been charged up yet ko4 jcw size mamba makes it so we'll see